What's up guys, welcome back to another gig log. We are at the Bradford today, just outside Raleigh, North Carolina. Another wedding and ceremony combo. And today we are testing out some brand new lights, the Astera AX1s that everybody's been talking about. They cost more than a Honda Accord, but I had to have them. So we're gonna be testing those out tonight. Ceremony was just right there. Cocktails going on inside right now. Stick around for this video, it's gonna be really fun, really cool. Hopefully we get a big dancing crowd tonight. Again, if you like my videos, please Please subscribe to the channel give this video a like at the end or right now if you want to and please leave a comment I love to respond to your comments as long as they're nice all right stick around let's get this thing going cocktails are gonna be out here they're in this other room and then even in the main ballroom I'm seeing some guests just because it's stupid hot there's not really many out here today but that'll give me a quick chance to tell you about the gear we're using today as I mentioned before we got the Astera AX ones first gig out with those cocktail hour we are running a remote speaker from the bun gear command center which is right in there all the way to there wirelessly just playing some cocktail tunes in there right now kind of on autopilot we also have of course the ev evolve 50s the evolve 30 is in the cocktail room we had the speaker out here the all-in-one sennheiser lsp 500 with the microphones built in the back completely battery powered unfortunately not available anymore but anyway you guys have seen that probably in my previous videos if you haven't go back and look because that thing is sweet what else do we got mainly that's it i mean pretty pretty simple rig again it's all about these light tubes tonight i got my man saquon with me he's got the ipad which is how we control them and he's going to be firing off a light show from probably out in the crowd to see what we can uh, get out of these tubes hopefully uh money well spent we shall see okay all changed up ready to go what you'll see on these next clips is the bun gear command center all we brought out tonight for the main system is the evolve 50s and the evolve 30 for the cocktail hour and then of course we've got eight Astera AX1 pixel tubes uh, set up here with the setup. So we have four down low on the feet that come with the pixel tubes. Uh, they're really well constructed feet, pretty stable. Uh, we got four down low, so two in front of the speakers and then two on the sides of the speakers. We would have gone probably four wide across the front, but people kept tripping over them. So we've got four like they are there across the front and then we have four across the back and those are simply photo stands uh, like you would see a photographer use for a flash. Uh, we've got a little mount on the top that flip the top piece to a 90 degree. And then basically they come with clamps inside the AX1 case, which I'll try and get a shot of here when we pack them up. And then the light tube just goes right there in the clamp, snaps in, we raised up too high, to a little lower. And then of course, like I said, the four across the front and then synced it up to the iPad, the Astera app which has tons of built-in programs already in it. So we're gonna see what these things look like when it gets dark. Obviously, it's way too early to tell now. Hopefully, get some killer dance footage, and hopefully these things are worth the very expensive price tag.
Okay guys, just got done unloading today, which is Sunday, the day after that wedding I just showed you. Really fun experience, good crowd. But the main thing is I got so many compliments on using those Astera AX1 pixel tubes. I'm sitting here now just trying to come up with some other ideas. You can see here of trying to set them up, the best way to get in and out with them quickly. I mean, I can't say enough about how smart the case is, how well designed it is with all the parts right there in it. It is heavy, I'm not gonna lie to you, but just playing around with them a little bit more today, trying to get some different ideas there. But all in all, man, I thought they were pretty freaking incredible. It definitely helped to have somebody there with the iPad kind of running the show remotely. My man Saquon did a killer job running them. Hopefully the footage he got with this camera while he was running the lights gave you guys a good indicator of what they look like. And again, hope you like this video. As always, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell, leave a comment because I personally respond to all of those. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Honestly, let me know what you think of the tubes other than the price point, which is pricey. I think they're about 5k for a pack of eight, the charging case and everything like you see there. And then again, the uh, controller, which I didn't really show that too much, but uh, it does come in this nifty little box. But anyway, I loved them. Thank you guys for watching. New video next Thursday. Peace.